Dramatic! Hello everyone! This is Voltos playing Newtopia, and I have to push run to start. So, here's a temple. And then, uh, lightning struck and a, a flaming guy entered the temple. And then the temple exploded! Oh no, just- he took a brown bag. The end. That is the story of Newtopia. <coughs> it was my favorite bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Something's in my throat. <coughs> there we go. The evil demon Dearth that came to us as we slept. He kidnapped a bunch of things. He kidnapped some medallions. Oh, that's terrible. Dearth was our father's arch. That's, um... Uh, I'd like to present a logical flaw in this. Why would you contain all of your ancestors' wisdom in some holdable things that could easily be taken? And you only have one person who can unleash the forces of goodness. That's never a wise thing, because then those evil guys are going to go, You know, if I want to take all the goodness from this world, all I have to do is kidnap this one person. and Or else kill them. And then, boom! No one can use the goodness! So, I got a compass that can lead me to, uh, medallions. And, uh, apparently if I, if I, if I win, the, if I res rescue the princess, she just is gonna marry me. I mean, hey. So I can come back to this person if I'm feeling weak. Uh, there's a compass. It's spinning like crazy, so, therefore, we are in a, in a, in a I know there's these areas in, in some kind of fiction that has the whole spinning compass thing. I can't remember what it's about, but, uh, this is my walking speed. And here we are. So, compass is pointing me either down or up. I can't actually tell at the moment. It's still pointing me down or up. And here's some stairs. Hello, old man. This book will give you the power to return here to receive a password. Cool. Uh, do I need the red, or do I need the white? Head west for the labyrinth. Okie dokie. I will, I will grab this. Jazetta has acquired a book. So if we open up our start menu here. Uh, I don't know how to activate it. Uh... I don't know how to activate the book. Uh, this is West, yes. And that's my knockback. It's a, a knockback. I got sent backwards. Quite a ways, actually. Hello, sir. The compass will sound a signal. Cool, I'll take your chests. The boom bombs! Also, you just sort of walk into a chest and it opens for you. And medicine of vitality, probably health. And bombs. I don't want to exactly equip either of them at the moment. So we'll see how things go. I'm assuming there's nothing like experience that I have to worry about. So, I'm not going to worry about that. There's a, there's a scorpion though. He, he walked into me. It was dreadful. So I booped him. I boop you. The sword has an exact hitbox, so if I miss, I will know. See? Exact hitbox. Compass is very helpful, it's pointing. Got some more bombs. I can pick things up with sword like in Zelda 1. Cool. Speaking of Zelda 1, that's still a game I've never played. Probably should do that at some point in my life. Hello, guy who looks like he just got out of bed. Look carefully for a wall with a mural painted on it, then use your... Okay. So destroy murals. Got it. Be the violent kid that I've always wanted to be. 
Alrighty. Oop. Dang hitbox. So I, I put a bomb, it explodes, I get a room. Hello, sir! This complex labyrinth right here. This this one right here? This this labyrinth? This is quite the labyrinth, you know? Also, interesting thing, the the game puts you back on a grid. If you move left and then down, you'll notice I have slight shifts in my up and down movements and my left and right movements. Uh, if I just move a very slight amount. It's interesting. I can understand it's a bit easier to deal with things if they're on a grid like that. Kaboom! I don't know if bombs will hurt me. The crystal ball is like a map. And yes, makes sense. So, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, oh, the compass is pointing. Also, it's making a noise, so I'm close. Hello, are you a healer? Sure. <laughs> I'll use the file cabinet. Yeah, that's, that's probably better. Thanks, can I have a heal? I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> it's not working. I thought, you know, stabbing so hmm. I think I want to go left here. Dark. I'm a Oh. Okay then. Hello, lady. Uh, thank you, lady. You have the power to heal my wounds with your piano. Obviously. I mean, how else would someone heal their wounds? Okay, here's a green lizard guy. I'm gonna stab him over and over again until he dies. And here we are. We, I have found a labyrinth. Uh, it is called a labyrinth. Here is a single bat in the labyrinth. I have poked the bat. And then I got wings. Remember, kids, if you ever want to get wings, you just gotta poke a bat. Ugh. All right. Um, is this a thing I want to hit? Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk uh, 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 destruction by by flame particles. Thank you. But I will risk death by bat. There, it's a. Your hitbox is pretty big, and your sword hitbox is very stingy. Just the things you need for a good time. All right, here we got some hydras or anemones. I have obtained the crystal ball. Uh, I'm gonna guess there might be a hidden room two to the right from here, but that's just a that's just a guess. Also, these guys are extremely vulnerable to being hit from the bottom or the top because they can only reach the right or the left. I'm gonna head right first. And, oh, there's a bus room or something, or it's just, you know, a door. So, test. Yep. Ugh. Excuse me, Mr. Bat. And nothing else. Okay. So what's to the right here? Possibly a chest? A uh, key, maybe? Possibly. Hey, look, it's a giant bat. And I got some money. Probably got to destroy all the dudes in this, in this area first before I can push the block. But that guy is being a jerk and is not being very, in a very good spot for me to bulk. And now I'm low on health. And that isn't annoying at all. I got the big key. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I, I don't actually know what that is. What, what is this? 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I now know what that is. That is a quick way back. Cool. Let's, um, go back to the dungeon now. Did not expect that, but that's fine. It's not too big of a deal. It's not like I lost too much progress. And, you know, you gotta test items that you don't know in video games. Otherwise, you'll never use them. You'll be like, what the heck does this thing do? And I need to hit the wrong button. Yeah! Uh, excuse me for a moment. Oh, it's stuck on that button. Okay. Excuse me if I'm used to the B button being the sword button for me instead of the A button. It's a little, it's a little, uh, awkward. I got- I- 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 I get used to the B button being my sword button. Man, and I even used that potion and now I'm already low on potion. I mean health again. Wait, did it not save any of the progress that I made in this dungeon because I accidentally warped out? No, I got the key. Okay. I don't necessarily have to, but it's a little annoying that it didn't save where I'd gone. Oh, oh, look at that guy. Look at this guy. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A cherry! I'm Pac-Man in disguise. Let's go left first. Oh. Ow. Okay, one more. Can I defeat this mighty foe without dying? Yes! I have obtained the bronze armor. Nice, now I take less damage, probably. It probably doesn't give me anything like the ability to kick on one foot while doing the Macarena or anything. That would just be silly. Okay, uh... Attacking enemies with a slight difference in height. Dangerous. Oh boy, more beeping! Just what you guys want to hear in a video game. Constant beeping! And I got a time stop as the last item in a thing. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. I shall unleash you! I'm setting you free, don't worry. Bomb. I swear I will stop the beeping as soon as I can, hopefully. I just need to get a cherry or something. Or whatever those are. Rings? I'm getting bowl rings. Nose rings. I am down to one life and the beeping continues. Hey, uh, you guys gave me a cherry last time. You gonna- can you give me another cherry? I would appreciate. That is not a cherry. That is also not a cherry. And, uh, the invincibility frames. The princess is so fragile in the hands of dearth. to the crypt. Boop. And it's a Durgan! Gonna wait for him to shoot his fire, then I poke him. Yeah! Poke him again. Oh, I missed. Poke. Oh, I missed. Ow. You won't beat me that easily, Mr. Dragon! I have the ability to poke you in the belly! Ha 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 ha! My poking powers! are too powerful for you. You may be able to spit orange splotches at me, 
but I can poke your stomach. How do you feel about that, huh? I bet it's not exactly pleasant. Yeah, take that and that. And maybe I'll throw in a bomb this time. Kaboom! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Or does it not bother you at all? It probably doesn't bother you, but aha! Uh -huh, it was a distraction from me poking you over and over again. As you have so much health, this is annoying. But I shall continue to poke you over and over again. But then run away and dodge and then poke you some more. But then run away some more. But then poke you some more. Oh, this is such a difficult thing to do. Oh, and then he exploded into a million cents! And then I got the prized medallion. Da -na -na -na, na -na -na -da -na. I need to find the second medallion before the door to the sphere. Oh, thanks for more health. I have the power of healing! Thanks. Ah, I see. Now it's there. Uh, do you have the power of s I have to go down for save. I will proceed to the southward area. To save uh, my game. For the save is only one space lower than the Healy spot. Never mind. He can't help me. I don't know how to save at this point. Good game design, but at least I have a uh, totally legitimate saving methods at my disposal. It's called saving off screen cuz I d d uh yes, that's that's how you do it. See right there that that's 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 what I meant to have happen this whole time. I mean, obviously. Yeah, that's that's what I meant to do the whole time. Anyway, that's going to be all for our first adventure episode thing. Till next time, I'll not I'm not sure where I'm going, but it's going to be somewhere. Till then.